What's up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today we're checking out Project Cars 2 with the Samsung Odyssey in VR uh, with the new CPU X Series uh, build. This is running, uh, hardware I'm running is a 7820X uh, i7 with a the GPU being a 1080 Ti from MSI. Uh, now, I've already did the video of the improvement scene with the Rift, so I figured I'd address the Samsung Odyssey because it is, after all, a higher resolution screen and a lot more intensive on your, on your hardware, uh, on your CPU and GPU all together. So what I have come up with is, <clears throat> see, super sampling at 1.5, um, at 1.5, so 150%, and I'll show you here. Project Cars 2, 150%. See if you're on a cell phone here, I can zoom it up there, 150%. Now you can run this at 170%, and I've had pretty good luck with it. It takes a little bit, it cleans up the uh, pixelation a little bit further uh, distance from your hood of your car but it's uh, a lot more taxing. So the sweet spot seems to be around 150%, uh, to, especially if you're gonna be driving at nighttime or in the rain. So I would keep it around 150%, set it and forget it kind of thing. Um, let's go into the settings themselves. So the visual FX, this is pretty much on par with what I was running with the Rift, uh, with this new build, uh, everything on full, bloom on, exp uh, of course, raindrops on, uh, God rays on, and um, it, you know the sun interior and exterior sun flares all on full. So anyway, running really good uh, with this setting here. It doesn't seem to hamper it any actually. So now for the uh, performance factor of it all. So as you can see, just like anything else, you're cranking up the textures as much as you can it seems to uh, be just great with this one so on high and 16 times v-sync off you don't need it msaa on low now there's is a trade-off uh, if you are running say mostly day tracks and stuff crank up your msaa to medium and you will see uh, a little bit a little bit clearer uh, and it really it, it does hurt your FPS a little bit, but if you're not sensitive to having to hit that 90 FPS mark all the time, uh, you will enjoy a little bit better resolution in the daylight uh, or cloudy days, what have you, uh, with it on medium. And that's with the rest of the settings being the same that they are. Now in the rain, if you run the MSAA on medium, uh, expect in the 60s for your FPS range, but never going into asynchronous mode which is around 45 FPS, always being extremely smooth, no stuttering. So it's it looks really damn good. Uh, 90 locked in 90 FPS seems to still be uh, a little bit of a stretch, even with the high-end system for uh, a Project Cars 2. Hopefully the 2080 Ti's when they come out that will improve that as well. You generally see around a 20% increase uh, in, in FPS and if that's the case then you should be able to run this one maxed out uh, and, and still hit 90s but that said it actually runs very smooth uh, so right now with these particular settings I am running in the 80s uh, 70s to 80s uh, mid well sometimes 72 uh, never going into the 60s though uh, that I could tell as far as peeking out of my headset and looking now, uh, reflections on medium, environment map on medium, these can uh, tax your system as well as a little bit, but I'm able to crank them up to medium and still be pretty happy with, with what I'm seeing. Car detail on ultra track, on low, as you know, very intensive to crank it up more, and Project Cars 2 is pretty damn detailed, uh, even at low. Pit crew, it's only gonna matter when you're going into the pits, no big deal, crank it all the way up. Shadow detail, this is on medium. Now, if you are a stickler for having as close as possible 90 FPS at all times uh, in the rain, you can crank this shadows off and you're going to be up there in the 80s all the time uh, to, and hitting in the 90s as well. Uh, low looks fine actually in the rain uh, and it, it does save you 
It doesn't save you a lot, oddly enough. It, it saves me around four or five FPS at different times. It, it tends to jump around a lot. Uh, so it's, you know, if it does hit in the, in the 72 range, it's right back up to 78 real quick or 82 to, to 89, depending on what's going on on the track, right? So uh, it's not too bad. But anyway, uh, I'm running at medium right now. Pretty happy with that. Uh, see, render frames ahead. Four doesn't seem to hurt it at all. Uh, particle level and the particle density both at medium. So you can see all those glorious pixels on your screen when it's raining all across your car. Now, let's jump into a race real quick, a quick play, and I will try to explain to you what I'm seeing on the track. It's gonna look gorgeous to you on the screen, on YouTube, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you, I'll try to let you know if I'm seeing anything jump out at me. Uh, so I've done some testing on this for quite a while, so it, 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 it's, running beautifully actually so I'm running I, I picked the Janetta G57 uh, mainly in, in this course in the rain mainly because it's just a huge car and it's more uh, window space render with raindrops on it and stuff so I wanted to tax the system as much as I could uh, without going nighttime because honestly I don't think nighttime looks that great in Project Cars 2 for some reason uh, but anyway let's jump into it and see here I'll try to peek out of my headset and tell you what I see. But you'll be able to see it on the screen anyway. Seventy-four FPS. Shouldn't be dropping out of the seventies. This is with fifteen cars, so I believe I was up on cars as well. I think before I was running ten cars old setup. This is actually usually a very taxing section. Still 72 FPS, especially in the rain. Uh, that's always very taxing. If it's going to drop into asynchronous mode, it's definitely going to do it there. But as you can see, it never comes close. The gameplay is very smooth besides my voice jumping around from the motion platform. Man, those P1s just take off on you, too. They are hard to keep up with. If had a real driver in them, uh, probably wouldn't be able to outbreak them. But AI is FPS is 81 FPS. That's actually pretty good. As you can see, when you get further and further away from cars, uh, I mean the mist is still pretty intense, even with these cars here. And it's a, not quite a wall, but it is uh, would be pretty taxing on the system. Real smooth when you're looking back at the cars. There's no judders. Uh, those stutters went wide there. Just trying to find that car actually. Where are we at? 77 and then it was 83 for a second. What I like about leaving the particles and stuff on medium, man, that's a cool car. Zonda is that uh, well you can see it all really well and then if you got the environment reflections up on medium um, or what's the road surface ones you know you see these puddles and stuff really well uh, you're able to identify them before you get to them so it makes quite a bit of difference as far as your immersion factor Even the mirrors look really good uh, as far as them. I'm going to slow down and let them catch up. So 88, we'll go for 88. Even when they pass, <laughs> they all ask. I mean, you get that sense of speed, in other words, when they come flying past you in the VR headset. So 
sun's coming out tomorrow. Okay. I won't sing. I love those gold wheels. I just do this just to check out the cars. And I'm looking for some uh, some graphical glitches when I sit there and look at the cars. Because I know before when I had a uh, lower end CPU and even a GPU back when I was running the 980 Ti uh, in this game. You'd, you'd see them skip around a little bit. Not like you'd see the lag if you're playing someone online, but it would just be a slight stutter in the uh, in the vehicles themselves. But there's nothing there. It's smooth. Which actually helps you depict you know, your racing line better. How to ex execute a uh, pass a little bit easier without knocking off the tail of the car. <laughs> so 80s, 80s again, so yeah, it's pretty good, 79. But you get the gist of it, I hope. Uh, it's you know, it works really well with these settings. Pretty happy with what's going on here. I don't think it's going to get any better. Like I said, if you put the shadows on low, you wouldn't really notice it looking any worse on low. Uh, I will probably, because I'm not very sensitive to the, um, you know, some people are real sensitive to VR. Um, I'm not sensitive to it. I would probably run this on medium MSAA all the time because that's what I like to run during the day and still get, you know, in the 90s, 80s, the 90s. Uh, but I'd be hitting in the 60s and 70s in the rain uh, with this exact same track. So it doesn't bother me. But I understand a lot of people it does. So I'm giving you the best setup I can. 89. You guys are slow pokes. Should have turned up the AI a little bit more. Anyway, I think that might be enough talking, enough yammering. You get the idea of what's going on. So we'll check you next time on the track. Leave some comments below what your settings are uh, for Project Cars 2 and what your specs are. You know, share it with everybody else that may be looking at it. Uh, give them some kind of idea of uh, what performance they can expect as well. So, uh, with, you know, maybe they have the same setup as you. So, anyway, until next time, see you on the track. I'm out.